How you doing YouTube? Just showing the next part of the RJ prototype build. In one of my prior videos I indicated that the rear hubs that came off that original uh, 55 RJ were, were really worn down. One hub, every single tooth was basically worn flat. Uh, the other one, about half the teeth were uh, worn flat. Um, to be honest with you, I can't remember which one it was, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but what I do with these is I typically just weld up each tooth and then take a rotary burr and reshape each tooth within the hub. I mean, you can buy repro hubs for these tractors, but at $300 plus, dollars, um, it's a lot of money. Bill Jenkins actually makes them. They're awesome. I've used them before. I've bought a couple sets from him before. Um, but I just can't spend 300 plus bucks right now. And on top of that, as I had stated in my earlier videos, these are the early version of the RJ35 hub because they're real thin uh, compared to the later ones. So what did I actually do? Obviously clean it, get all the grease, the poop off, uh, poop off it. Um, and the next thing I do is I go in and I actually weld. I put a snot of weld on every single tooth within the hub. Some of the hubs I only do the worn teeth, but this one I just really wanted to just redo each one. And that's what I do. And then just before I put I weld, I put a little bit of bearing grease around the the paw area and down in the first uh, bushing or axle area. That way the slag doesn't actually stick to it. But as you can see right there, I just sit there and I just go right around and just snot each tooth with the welder. I just have a Weld Pack 100 Lincoln MIG welder and that's what I use. I use a MIG welder on cast iron. I know people are going to be like, you can't do that. But I've done it. This one here, this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's a little difficult to see in this light. It's not pretty pretty. You know, it's not like I make these teeth look absolutely gorgeous mint. But I just go in there with a rotary burr, shape each weld down. Sometimes I have to go back and touch one up here and there to get it real nice. But as you can see, all the teeth are back in it. Every single one. Then I hit it with a wire wheel. Um, basically what I do is I hit it with the rotary burr to shape it. Then I'll take a die grinder with a, with a disc and level it. And if I need to touch up, I'll go back and touch it all up. Then I'll hit it with a, a wire wheel just to smooth all it out. I might even take the rotary burr and just touch the corners. And then the next thing I have to do is get in there with the paw and make sure each tooth spacing, the paw locks in fairly well. I mean, I'm gonna line it up better with the, with the axle hole and the whole nine yards. But that's what I do. And that saves the hubs. Um, I've done like three or four tractors this way. I haven't had a failure. I actually got the 57 that I sold to the gentleman in one of my other videos. That one has re, uh, re or refurbed hubs just like this. Um, everything works, ratchet drive works. It'll go left, right, no issues. So something to think about if you find an RJ with blown out hubs. That's what I do. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, it's a good way to save them. All right, any questions, PM me, um, or just make a nasty comment at the bottom, I guess. Just kidding. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.